Hello, my people. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are, according to your time zone. Another day has come to the glory of the Lord we serve. My Biafran people, my African people, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you around the world. The freedom fighters, lovers of peace, another day has come. It's Saturday here. I know we are all doing well in the midst of all odds. To God be the glory. This is M Special. I thank you, my viewers. I say may God bless each and every one of you, my, those that have subscribed. And those that have not subscribed, I plead with you to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Share my videos to all Africans. This is our time to shine because the Lord of hosts knows why he created Africa. And no man can take our destiny away from us. So this morning, I have come with a prayer. This week in my head, since Wednesday, has been a week of struggling somehow. And I am asking God, I say, how do I pray? How do we pray? How, what are we going to pray? And it's like my spiritual mind is down a little. But to God be the glory, I came across this wonderful prayer put together by one of us, our African pastors in Kenya. And I want to recite that prayer with you. And I want you as an African to decree with me and to continue pray this prayer or play this um, uh, video because God in heaven answers prayer. We are in the time of prayer. Our enemies has come to destroy us, but that is not the will of God for us. We shall excel like the people that God has created us to be. We are the first and not the last. In the eyes of men, we may look as the last, but God knows why what is happening is happening. Yesterday in the news, the economy of China, I heard, was crumbling, and it will crumble to finish. Since they have come out for the children of Chukwokikabiyama, they will not leave to execute their plans. And for Nigeria, it's a dead place. Because Biafra, my country, is already there. It's only for the eyes of men to see and put a date. But in the spirit, Biafra is existing. And no man can stop it. May God bless our leader, Mazin Nandekano. May God bless IPOB family. May God bless all Biafra agitators wherever we are. And I plead with you, my Biafra agitators, this is the time to come together. Because our God has answered our prayer. And we have nothing to lose to become one because in unity we will conquer our enemies so let's go straight to the prayer and come along with me as i pray this prayer declaring over biafra and over over africa for the word of god can never lie the lord says instead of my word not to come to pass the heaven and earth will finish they would god, god will bring heaven and earth to pass so let us believe and let us hold fast and my Biafran people, you know, if it's not for God we serve, we will not be here. They have tried in 1969 to eliminate us. Here we are. Here we are driving their own economy. They are burning our markets. They are scrambling our every good thing that we have. But they are not our God. It's only but for a while. And their time is up. Let us pray this prayer. Prayer of declaration over Africa. I decree and declare I'll cover that rests upon Biafra stroke Africa. I decree and declare that under this time of unleashed hatred on Biafra stroke Africa by those we call our leaders and the, and the power that be, that Biafra stroke Africa no longer remain in the partitioned Africa but a unified and revived Biafra and Africa. I decree and declare that the whole of Biafra stroke Africa and all who dwell in it is the Lord's own. Biafra stroke Africa dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And it shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty according to Psalm 91, the African platform. I decree and declare 
that the Almighty God has given Biafra Stroke Africa a new platform of victory. I decree and declare that the chain that bound Biafra Stroke Africa in its past conquests are broken by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Our liberation is in him and in him alone. Our liberation is in Jesus Christ, Yahweh, the Son of God, and in him alone is our liberation, and he will surely liberate Africa. Whosoever and whatsoever the Lord sets free is surely free indeed, according to his word in John 8, 36. I decree and declare that Biafra stroke Africa will remain in its diligent freedom and that Africa will do exploits knowing our Father in I decree and declare that the covenant God, Abba Father, has released his divine order upon Biafra stroke Africa. The cause of colonization is out. The cause of colonization is out. The cause of colonization is out. We are now a covenant people and continent not a colonized people. We are now a covenant people and continent, not a colonized people in Jesus' name. Indeed, God is working all things together for our own good. Indeed, God is working all things together for our own good. I decree and declare that we have a, conv a, a covenant mandate to serve the only true God, Chuku Okiko Abiyoma, through his son, to God of all creation, the great I am. We turn away from all other gods to the God of all creation, the great I am. I decree and declare that we are going forth, first stroke Africa, to shine the African people. I decree and declare that the creator Chuku Okiko Bioma has Biafra stroke Africa people in mind. What is Africa that you are mindful of and the children of Africa that you visit them? For you have made her a little lower than angels, and now you crown the Biafrans through Africans people with glory and honor. I decree and declare that you have made the Biafrans and the African people to have dominion over the work of your hands. Six. The African mind. I decree and declare that all knowing God has given Biafra stroke Africans a new mind. Biafra stroke Africans are rising from a mind of defeat, despair, and death to a divine mind of conquest hope and abundance. I decree and declare that the man does not give up. The mind of Biafra stroke Africa is strong and resolute. I decree, I decree and declare that Biafra stroke Africa is being transformed by the renewal, renewing of the mind. We do have the mind of Christ, according to 1 Corinthians 2, verse 16. Knowing what is good, acceptable, and perfect. The African spirit. I decree and declare that the spirit of Chukwu Okiko Bioma has released to the African spirit and to the Biafra spirit 
a new season and time. The spirit of Biafra stroke Africa is being infused and empowered from above. A new kindling of holy fire is upon us. I decree and declare the spirit of, has not received the spirit of fear or timidity, but the spirit of power to embrace love and self-discipline, to achieve all that is his divine portion. I decree and declare that the spirit of God is taking us from one degree of glory to another in Jesus name amen the African family I decree and declare that our Abba father Chukwo Kikobioma is upholding the Biafra's stroke African family he made whole Abba father is taking their proper places mothers are esteemed and respected Children are finding favor with God and man. I decree and declare that no weapon fashion against the Biafran or African families will prosper in Jesus' name. According to his words, Isaiah 54 verse 17. I decree and declare that Heavenly Father watches over Biafra through Africa families to supply its every needs the africa the african treasure i decree and declare that all sufficient god has deposited in biafra stroke africa great treasures we have gold silver precious stones of all kinds we have beauty beyond measure we are beautiful people africans are beautiful people and god has created us with beauty beyond measure both the beauty of hearts and the beauty of the body because as africans we never wish any but they pay us with evil i decree and declare that biafra stroke africa treasure has been given to us to be good stewards and we shall not fail the divine giver i decree and declare that god has given us wisdom understanding and knowledge to turn these treasures into wealth that will bless the nation and other nations the biafran heritage i decree and declare that the everlasting God has bestowed on Biafra, stroke Africa, an amazing heritage. We have a rich culture and a rich history. We have royal lineage and it is seen in the kingdoms of our continents. I decree and declare that these heritages will not be stolen from us. We shall nurture them and we will use them to our own advantages. I decree and declare that we shall not sell out our heritages due to corruption in our midst. This is our time to rank our heritage high, the African narratives. I decree and declare that all seeing God we release a new vision and new insights into the African hearts. Our narrative is being rewritten by the flow of God's presence in the continent of Africa. According to Joel 2.28, we are not a dark continent anymore, but a continent full of light. I decree and declare that a visionary eyes are hearing ears and a conceived heart from above will be given to all African youths and African persons. According to the book of Acts 
2 verse 17. I decree and declare that a new dawn has come for Africa to arise in Jesus' name. I pray. He say, giving the youth of Africa a new platform of creativity and influence. The Biafrans through African youths are like sons of Isashar who understood the times and knew what to do. The African youths are like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abadnego, refused, who refused to bow in the fire of compromise, corruption, and confusion. I decree and declare that God is giving the African youth a divine assignment that will bring honor, power, and glory to his kingdom, the continent of Africa and beyond. The African destiny. I decree and declare that the fire, the far-reaching God has the African destiny in his hands. For God has declared that Africa will bring presence of honor to the host, to the Lord of hosts. They are a people tall and smooth of skin, a people feared from and wild, a nation powerful and conquering. They will bring gifts to Mount Zion. I decree and declare it is now time for Africa to arise and shine and go forth in the name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Yahweh, Yeshua, the Lord and the only living God, the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. He say, he say, he say, I pray. Amen. So, you know, the time we are is not only the time of politics. This is the time of principalities and powers, as the word of God has said. It is the time where principalities and powers are trying to, to reign. But when we go spiritual, we will overpower their powers. And this is the time for every African child, every African man, every African woman, every African lady to go spiritual, to bring Africa to the table of the Most High because no man created Africa. God put us there for a purpose and it is the time for us to shine for that purpose. Thank you for listening. This is M Special. May the Lord be with you this weekend. May you play safe as we continue to wait to see what will unfold in this time. May the Lord continue to shower each and every one of us blessings and give us wisdom on how to do things. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, share my videos, and God will bless you in every good thing that you are doing. Put on the, notify, the notification bell. I always upload move, uh, my videos. At this time, I'm uploading almost daily so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be among the first to catch it up. Thank you and God bless you.